to another creature tutorial. This tutorial is going to go through the new creature PSD lay auto layout input pipeline. All right. And before I start, I just want to say I'm using this amazing piece of art by OTK Games of their zombie character for their greenlit game called Vagrant. You should definitely check it out. So thank you, OTK Games, for providing this character for the, this tutorial. Okay. Now, before we begin again, I want to say a couple of things. First of all, please go on to the Creature Documentations page that you can link off the web page and go read up this the section PSD Auto Layout Script. It gives you all the details you need to set up the different scripts. But I'm going to go through them really quickly. First of all, you need to grab the Creature Creature Tools or Creature PSD uh, Python files because the entire pipeline is built out of Python. Okay, and they're conveniently located in this GitHub repository over here. Okay, it's linked off the web page as well. Now the next thing you do is you need to install a couple of packages for Python, okay? You need to install PSD tools, you need to install Pillow, and you need to install Easy GUI. All right, and all the links are provided as well. They have, there are both packages for Windows and Mac. All right, so install those packages. It's really not that difficult, but just install them on your system and dump, and dump those Python files in the folder that you're going to do the export, okay? All right, so let's let's start. Now let's take a look at the PSD file, the zombie PSD file, which is over here. Okay, you can see it's separated out into different components, right? The X, the the body, the arm, and so on and so forth. Okay, so we have this PSD file. What do, what do we do with it? Well, first thing we're going to do is we are actually going to run PSD GUI, which is this. Fancy Python script I've written for you guys. Type that, and a nice window pops up. All right, and we're gonna pick the first option. It says export PSD layers into separate PNG images. So click OK. Okay, and then now pick the test.psd file. That is the Photoshop file we're gonna export from. Click Open. All right, and the next thing we're gonna do is we need to create a folder to dump those layer images. Right, so let's make a new folder. Let's call it PSD images. Okay. And let's choose it. Okay, so let's do an ls or file listing on it. And you can see all the different layer images are now in the PSD images folder. Cool. Okay, so are we done? No, not yet. One more step. Let's run that GUI again. Okay, and this time around, I'm going to pick the second option generate layout JSON from PSD. Okay, what are we going to do? This is going to generate this J the JSON file that determines the placements of the different layers in the PSD file. So select the second option, click OK. And same thing, select test.psd and click Open. All right. And now let's pick a, a name for it. Let's call it hmm, PSD export.json. How about that? OK. So it says writing out region. That's good. So it writes, it's written out all the regions for that particular PSD file. Right. That's cool. And if we do a, a listing again, I think we can see it. There you go. PSD ex export.json. All right, that's great. And now we're done with, done with that. The next thing we're going to do is we need to go to Creature. Okay, so we go to Creature. Uh, don't worry about this image. This is just a placeholder. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is gonna, we're going to import in all the images that we export into that folder, right? So click on Import Image and select the second option, Import Multiple PNGs Using Image Packer. Click on that, a new window comes up. Uh, as you can see, I've already done a uh, previous image, but let's try that again. So what we do is we go and select these guys over here, okay? And then we pick a resolution and it generates that. Now we can change the padding. We can, obviously if I reduce the padding, let me show you. If I reduce the padding and I import the images, right, the packer changes the padding and, and reorganizes the images, right? So normally though, 20 is a good value. I find a good value enough. It gives enough spacing for the texture mesher to actually generate those regions, right? So I'll stick to 20, okay? But you can try different padding values. Now there's other options on this window that allow you to export these values of uh, this amount of data to other projects if you want to. You have to fill in the PNG file name and layout JSON, and it's gonna export those values for use in a separate project. But in our case, we're keeping it very simple. We just wanna use this character within the context of this project. So all I need to do after, after the import PNG images step is import and remesh. That's all I need to do. So click on that button, okay? And now let's pick 
a valid grid resolution. 80 by 80 is good. Click OK. All right. And you can see now it's magically actually populated the entire texture mesh grid with the right regions and the right names, right? The cat is over here. X is, uh, X is over there, great. And so the face is over here, I believe. Let's see, there you go, face is over here, yeah. Okay, so we're done. Now what's the next step? Let's go into rig, okay, and there's nothing here, <laughs> okay? Of course, because we haven't placed the regions. And this is, again, where we can use the PSD input pipeline to help us place the regions. Now remember that JSON file we made just now, this guy, PSD export.json. He's gonna come in handy now, okay? So what we do now is we click on tools and we click this menu item, set up rig regions from layout JSON. That's the JSON file we set up before. Click that, okay? And now pick this guy, okay? Now click open. Okay, so it shows you all the regions that it can fill, uh, lay out and fill in for you. That's fantastic. Now before I continue, I want to say something about this option here called layout scale. The, the default value is actually one. Now, if I click OK now, watch what happens. OK, that is bizarre, isn't it? The zombie character is not laid out correctly, right? It's laid out almost like it's exploded on itself. Why is that? That's because the there's due to different canvas scaling options in the PSD file, sometimes there are some issues trying to figure out the correct ratios or, or placement values of your layers. So how do you solve that problem? Well, not to worry. All you need to do is run the setup rig region from layout JSON again, okay? And then pick that same PSD export JSON and just change the layout scale, okay? Now, for this case, I know a value of 0.5 works. You should experiment with different values, but in general, any you should just try values between say 0.5 to 2, okay? Just play around with those values. If you get it wrong, don't worry, just try again. And normally increments of 0.5 will get you really quickly to the end result. Now, if I try a value of 0.5 right now, there you go, it's placed perfectly, right? And once you're done with that, I can start placing defaults, right? Okay, so this concludes the PSD import and auto layout tutorial. I hope you found this useful.